Hello, and welcome back to another episode. It's it's time. We're uh, we're going through this thing behind me. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's the intro you're getting. All right. So first things first. What I think we're going to need to to take on the Ender Dragon is uh, we have decent netherite armor. We've got a really good sword. We've got a really good bow. We have a little bit of arrows, but because we have infinity, we don't need to worry about arrows. I'm taking about a stack of glass bottles with me, uh, some golden apples, water, and some building blocks for the fight itself. The glass I'm going to use before I even hop in the portal itself, I'm going to just cover up the lava. I, I like the look of the lava underneath the, the portal, but... It always freaks me out a little bit to be jumping down into lava itself um, through the portal. Now, I've never had it happen when I don't have the, the glass here of not actually going through the end portal into the end. But, yeah, it'll just make me feel a little bit better. So the next thing we need to do is with our Eyes of Ender is to actually place our eyes around the portal just like this and when we place this last one the portal will uh, be created and we'll be able to jump through it and we'll be straight into the dragon fight just like that look at that and the the graphic of the end follows my cursor around which is kind of cool so let me uh dump the, the eyes of ender that I don't need and the glass that I don't need. And then we will be ready to take on the ender dragon. All right, let's go. Oof. All right. So there's the ender dragon there. So I'm going to quickly try to pillar out here over to the island itself I want to do this before the dragon sees me and swoops down and knocks me off of that platform Ooh, and I can hear him which scares me a little bit so let me get up here Oof. there he is all right we need to be careful not to uh, look any endermen in the eyes and you see can you see up there that there's a little, like... Fireball! Alright. So you can see there's, like, a little column following the dragon from the top of the pillars here. And they're coming off of these crystals up there. Ah! I looked him in the eye. He's not happy with me. But I got him. So that's what we have our bow for. We need to take out all of these crystal arrows, just like that. And if we stand in, this is called Dragon's Breath. So if we stand in there, we'll actually t end up taking damage. Looks like I missed that one. So I'm gonna run around trying to take out all of these crystals as fast as I can. There's one. Shot that one just too high. Just a little bit high. There we go. And glass bottles is actually for the dragon's breath. Because we can actually gobble us up. And this is the only way that we can actually get dragon's breath. It's by fighting the dragon and collecting it in the glass bottles. So... That's what I have the glass bottles for. Uh, there are some of these pillars that have iron gates around it. So we'll have to either get up high and break the iron bars so that we can actually shoot it with our bow. Or we'll have to try to um, make kind of a trick shot to take out the iron bar take out the the crystal nice all 
Alright, and the reason why I brought the water bucket is actually for Endermen. Because Endermen don't like water. And every now and again the dragon will do this, he'll kind of fly down here, and he'll land right on top of the portal right here. Ah. Water! See that? I angered some of the Endermen, or one of the Endermen it looks like. But because he can't get me, he won't be able to do much. So if I were to just sit here and try to shoot the Ender Dragon with arrows, I won't do anything, because I won't, he won't be able to, I won't be able to hit him. water again. Looks like the dragon might have gotten a little stuck. What's going on with my water? Right. Oof. I've angered another one. Now I don't have any water! Alright. See how good my netherite armor is. Let's see. Sometimes we'll be able to get in under the iron bar here. Nice, just like that. I almost have a full stack of dragon's breath. Might be lagging a little bit. All right. That's it. Nice. All right. Looks like that one and that one still have crystals. That one's gone. The dragon's coming down for a roost. Oop. That is very loud. Is that loud for you guys? Dropping that down a bit. That one's gone. So after he kind of rests on the... Am I being attacked by Enderman? After he kind of rests on this plinth here for a little bit, we'll kind of do a swooping attack. So, something that we need to be watching out for. It looks like this pillar still has... I'm right in the middle of some more dragon's breath. We're going to collect that if we can. Top of this one has one. Just a tiny bit higher. Nice. And we got it there. Do we just need to get this one, it looks like? Ah! Alright, so we got that one. We might be done with uh, crystals now, so I'm going to start attacking him. Let's see how good my uh, bow aiming skills are. Looks like he's coming for another roost. It looks like some of the Endermen are not happy with him. And when he's down like this, I can just go in and attack him with my sword. So let me get in here. Woo. He sent me skyward. Alright. 
Get out my bow again. shot on him uh, and he's coming back down for another Let me heal up a little bit collecting some more of and we have all of the dragon's breath that we can hold I can't pick up that. It's a little weird. Woo wee! I might be dead here or not. That was close. Yeah. Feather falling four on my boots just saved my life. There's no way I should have survived that without Feather Falling 4. There is a potion um, that is highly advisable called uh, Potion of Slow Falling, I believe. But you need a, a phantom membrane in order to make it, which I do not have access to. The two ways to get Feather Membrane is by staying up for like three nights in a row until phantoms start spawning. Or to have pet cats and have them uh, bring you a phantom membrane in the morning. Both of which are reasonable ways to do it. Whew. I went flying again, but not as high as before. Alright. Healing up a little bit more. And you are mad at me. All right. I'll take you out. Another one mad at me. All right. All right. Let's get out of the dragon's breath. Our dragon friend is almost down. Come back here! And... Another shot? Or two? Pokemon. And there he goes. We have finished off the Ender Dragon. And he drops a ton of XP. Our portal is now lit for returning back to the overworld. He leaves us a dragon egg. We'll have to come back and grab that at some point. And there should be one more thing that happens. Let me see if I can uh, can find it. it. Usually, there it is. This thing now spawns. This is how we get out to the rest of the end, as right now all that we can access is just this single island. So if we were to take this, it'll take us out to the rest of the end. So... 
It looks like we have some more time this episode, so let me... I think I'm just going to pillar up there for now, and I'll come back and make a, make a staircase or do something else here. Now, I have 11 ender pearls, so if I... Because right now this is just a one block gap, so I can't actually get in here myself. Uh, there are a couple of tricks to do this without ender pearls. Well, there's a couple of tricks to get in here, one of which is an ender pearl. One is a, a trap door. You can actually get into a, a one block height area by using a trap door. And the other one is with an elytra, which we don't have yet. So, ender pearls are obviously going to be the easiest because we have them in on hand right now. So I'm just going to throw an ender pearl here. And it put me, it took me through that other um, portal, wherever our main ender end island is. And it took me through to this portal here. So before I use up all of my blocks doing something else, I'm going to pillar back up here. Yep. So now it left us here. And now this is how the rest of the end will spawn. And then if we adventure around here long enough, we'll be able to find what's called an end city. And hopefully we'll find a end ship spawning alongside of the end city. But that unfortunately is not what we're going to do today. So yeah. Yeah, we're going to uh gonna return back home. We're gonna return back home and we will be back here shortly because I definitely want the elytra. And we have now beaten the game. If you're wondering when the end credits for Minecraft happen. It's after you beat the Ender Dragon, because you have finished the game. But I really don't want to sit through this, so yeah, we're just skipping that. That will do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>